grade 10. For the day, our topic is solving problems involving measures of position. And it was based on Mathematics 10, Quarter 4, Module number 4. Hi, Math Lovers! Are you ready? Let's learn! Have fun! Because mathematics is fun! What I need to know For our objectives, number one, use linear interpolation in solving problems involving measures of position in quartile, decile, and percentile. Number two, arrange the set of values of ungrouped data from lowest to highest. And number three, solve problems involving measures of position in quartile, decile, and percentile. What's new? Where's Donna? Now look at this given illustration. During the flag raising ceremony, the teacher asked the group of students to fall in line and arrange themselves from smallest to tallest. If Donna is at the lower quartile of the group, where is she standing? Circle the letter of your answer. Letter D, the fourth one. This is an example of a situation where the measure of position can be used in solving worded problems. For you to get familiar with solving problems involving measures of position, let us continue and learn together. Solving problems involving measures of position In Barangay Kalawakan, Doña Remedios Trinidad, in Bulacan, resides breathtaking and picture series. To enjoy nature and become one of it, Tourists hire tourist guide to show and lead them to different buildings. Hi everyone, I'm Randy, your tourist guide. Randy, one of the residents who assist people in tracking the magnificent landscape, recorded number of tourists he guides in a week in two ships per weekday. The set of tourists are 10, 9, 11, 15, 12, 9, 14, 11, 7, and 8. Now here is the problem. We have to find the lower quartile, 5th decile, and the 7th percentile using the set of numbers. Solution for the lower quartile Step 1. Arrange the numbers in ascending order. We have 7, 8, 9, 9, 10, 11, 11, 12, 14, and 15. Step 2. Locate the position of the number in the distribution. Now use the formula. Here's the formula to find the first quartile. First, distribute the number of data. That is 10. 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. Then we'll multiply 1 fourth and 11. After dividing 11 by 4, we have 2.75. Therefore, our lower quartile is at the 2.75th place. Since the result is a decimal number, you have to apply linear interpolation. Step 3, interpolate the value to obtain the first quartile or the lower quartile. Here is our arranged given data. Between 8 and 9 is our 2.75th place. 2.75 is in between the second and the third numbers. From the given result of 2.75, add the whole numbers place or the second score to the product of the difference of the third and the second places and the decimal number, which is 0.75. First, subtract 8 from 9, that is 1, then multiply, then add. Therefore, the value of the first quartile is 8.75. Solution for the fifth decile. Arrange the numbers in ascending order. 
we will use the same order in quartile. Number 2, locate the position of the number in the distribution. We will use this formula. First, substitute the value of n. That is 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. 11 times 5 over 10 is 55 over 10. 55 divided by 10 is 0.5. Therefore, our fifth decimal is at the 5.5 place. Since the result is a decimal number, you have to apply linear interpolation. For step 3, interpolate the value to obtain the fifth decimal. Again, we will use the same position in our given data. Here is our 5.5th place. It is in between the 5th and the 6th number, 10 and 11. From the result of 5.5, add the whole numbers place or the 5th score. To the product of the difference of the 6th and the 5th places. And the decimal number which is 0 0.5. First, subtract 11 and 10. That is 1. And multiply, we have 0 0.5. Lastly, add. Therefore, the value of the fifth decimal is 10.5. Solution for the 75th percentile. Step 1, arrange the number in ascending order. Again, we will use the same position. Step 2. Locate the position of the number in the distribution. Now use this given formula. First, substitute the value of n. Then let's add that from 1. That is 11. Then let's multiply. 825 divided by 100 is 8.25. Therefore, the 75th percentile is at the 8.25th place. Since the result is a decimal number, you have to apply linear interpolation. Step 3, interpolate the value to obtain the 75th percentile. Again, we will use the same position. Here is the 8.25th place. That is in between the 8th and the 9th numbers. That is 12 and 14. From the result of 8.25, add the whole numbers place or the 8th score. To the product of the difference of the 9th and the 8th place and the decimal number which is 0 0.25. Now let's solve. 14 minus 12 is 2. Then let's multiply. Then add. Therefore, the value of the 75th percentile is 12.5. References I know that you have learned a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye!